What's up, ASG? Welcome to an ASG Rewind. We just did a rewind for Aliens 19 or Alien 1979. Now we're moving on to the sequel movie, Aliens Year. There it is. <laughs> Aliens Year. I think it came out in 1986. <laughs> Let me fact check. Aliens, 1986. Okay, what yeah. a freaking guy, this guy. So, a Aliens, 1986. So, Einstein. if you guys watched our last Alien um, Rewind, yes. we talked about how it was practical effects were there. Practical looked, it, effects were there. It was looking super good in the sci-fi industry. Nasty, disgusting. Nasty, gross. Um, characters like were great. Yeah, Everybody characters Everybody dies. Were great. Yeah, yeah, well... <laughs> Let's let's get into that though. Like the the I honestly felt like the characters were a little weaker in this. Like in, instantly, in instantly, aliens? I'm just like, wow, they're wow. These characters are like fucking yeah, bro. Idiots. If if we're gonna if we're gonna go straight into the characters, I just want to point out. Uh, I think it's Vasquez, and I can't I can't remember the other dude that I'm thinking. It was of like Vasquez Hudson, not, not Hudson, Hudson or, um, not blonde guy that makes it to the end, but the other dude. Um, I don't know. I don't know. They're kind of forgettable. There's a, there's a lot of characters introduced that when you watch the movie, you're kind of like, oh yeah, these people are going to, yeah, they're going to die. Yeah. They're going to die. They're pretty insufferable. And I think that's going to be a theme for, for, so I actually think this is, this is a 94% on Rotten Tomatoes. Really? Yeah. Let me, let me check what Alien 1979 was, but I'm pretty sure consensus on this movie yeah, Alien is a 93% on Rotten Tomatoes, so just a little bit under. Um, I think the general consensus on this movie is this is the best Aliens movie or, like, one of. And hot take, it's only good after the first three-fourths of the movie. After, like, the halfway point and a little bit past the halfway point, and everything starts to pick up, I think it's really good. Mm -hmm. But all the stuff where she's first arriving to the station and she's, like, finding out about... Because she's having, like, nightmares. She's they had, having because nightmares. The, the movie opens up where they find her because at the end of the movie, she goes into the time capsule yeah, where she's, she's still frozen sleeping. in time. She's waiting until she gets found. Found like yeah she's, she's basically so Ripley is basically frozen in time. She's been asleep after, for fifty seven years. Yeah, it's a time jump of fifty seven years, and they get her in. She's having fucking nightmares of the aliens and stuff like that. Yeah, and um, the guy whose name was Burke. Yeah. So you got this guy named Burke that was coming in talking to her, trying to you know basically explain to her what's ha what's happened, and debrief her on stuff, and yeah. then she goes into a room defending her case of. All the about the stuff she, she goes went off through. on him. Yeah, she goes off on him. But all of this bullshit you think is so important, you yeah. can just kiss that goodbye. Yeah, it's just like, <laughs> yeah, and I love I love Sigourney Re Weaver. Yeah, like, she's, she's great. Awesome. She's a badass. She is great. Um, but yeah, and it's like, I don't know. They I tell so they tell her that they there's actually families on that planet. Yeah, there's fifty to sixty plant or families on this planet. There's a whole compound and all this, and they want her to come. Colonist. There's yeah, colonist. colonist. They want her to come with them to just be an advisor in case because they've lost contact. Yeah. So they want her to come with as an advisor just in case there is aliens. Yeah. Um, but she literally – okay, so she, first she defends her case, and they're like, aliens, like, you're fucking stupid. Like, what are you talking about? And th that really confuses me because they have androids – that are like programmed to study these aliens if they find mm -hmm. them. Yeah, so clearly me, you know about the right. aliens. Yeah. Anyway, after that Well, I think they did I think they did. It's just that like they, they didn't don't find out they don't because they that because she no, no, no. saw them? No, no. They 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 know that they exist, but they lost contact recently. Uh -huh. Like that, like they lost contact really pretty recently. So that's whenever she was debriefing. But they were them. like, "You didn't see an alien." Type yeah, of energy. Yeah, th yeah, that's exactly. They were saying you didn't see an alien. This was a real. And then Bert comes to debrief her with that marine guy, yeah. knocks on her door, saying like, "We've lost contact with yeah. this wor world." So I and I want to talk about right. And I want to talk about just that quick cut because there was a lot of stuff in this beginning stuff, and that's what I was kind of getting into with this beginning. Why it's so weird is there's some really jumpy ass cuts. So we have that. <laughs> 
of her saying like, there's an alien. They're like, no, it's not. Da, 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 da. It's not and real. We go to her in her room and she's like smoking a cigarette. Everyone smokes a cigarette. Mm -hmm. um, she's like smoking a cigarette and they show up and they're talking to her like, oh, debriefing like or briefing her like like you were saying but they start talking about like oh i see you got a job over here and da da da, da. And it's like well we, damn i wish we yeah. would have seen that yeah we she already has a job like they're like bullshitting with her and like fucking with her like she's been there for a while mm -hmm. but it's like we just snapped yeah, straight we didn't really, we didn't, yeah we didn't really get clarification on that time jump and there was a lot of that, that, that skip there was a lot of that like they were trying to just speed run the beginning and I was kind of like, no, I want to see more about the, the company. Mm -hmm. yeah. But maybe that was just me. But that was why I felt like this the first like half and almost to three quarters was really weak. Yeah. But after that, so great. And so I I, I honestly thought it, it picked up whenever like I was I was like kind of getting shaky. So they go they go to the planet and they're kind of getting ready because you kind of you kind of get introduced to all the. New android. new android and then it's a military she, and even crew. ripley like even when ripley finds out that that bishop is an android she's like nobody said there was going to be an android on this on this ship yep like nobody said this to me mm -hmm. and she don't fuck with androids because of the shit she, <laughs> she definitely don't fuck with androids hey but this um, this android's a real one though. yeah this, a bishop a hey, bishop a real, is a real one. one um but i i'd say that once we get a couple once we get to that part where they're like, all right, we cannot, don't, guys, like, we got to realize where you're at. Like, when they're going to search for the aliens, uh -huh. they're like, you got to realize where you're at. You're you're under a fucking, like, nuclear reactor. Oh, yeah, or, yeah, Or, like, yeah. whatever it was called. Like, yeah. You can't, so you can't use no weapons. And I'm like... Yeah, I think, I think, right, I'm I like, think you're right. After that, it starts to pick up, but... After that scene, they go back, and there is a lot of just hemming and hawing. And then it gets back into the action. Mm -hmm. I just wish we would have stayed. Yeah. On firing on all um, cylinders. Because, uh, well, because the thing is, like, they lose a couple guys from that little thing because they can't use their bullets. But then yeah. some of them still use weapons anyway. Vasquez. Yeah, Vasquez used weapons. And then the other guy used a shotgun. Um, They're all just and, but caricatures. The, but the thing is, what, what I loved about that, though, is when they're walking down there, they're like, guys, they're on you. They're like, where the... Yeah, are they? Dude. And they're literally in the fucking walls. <laughs> because then you just see them go like from this. They, then they're like, yeah. And then it's like, holy shit, fuck, yeah. it's, dude, it's crazy. And Ripley's like, and like all like, get them out of there, get yeah. them out of there. And, and the then they, new lieutenant he's or like, sergeant, he's like freezing up, freezing Mr. up, Mr. Freeze, folding, folding. What then, is he doing, bro? And then it's, but then it, then again, it was his like second. Yeah, Second when they're going, going down, out. they're like, hey, he looks real shaky. And they're like, Lieutenant, like, how many drops is this for you? And he's like, uh, two, including this one. Uh, yeah. And they're like, oh, my fucking. Yeah. And, but you got to think his squad was a bunch of dipshits. I mean, yeah, they were. They, they were, were not all characters. Just, yeah, they were all just, like, trying to be quirky characters. I'm just like, I'm like, bro, it would have been a lot better if y'all would y'all would just had no lines. Yeah. And y'all literally just, you know, went out there as real soldiers and, like, and another it's another nice. thing that I really and we were talking about this because we did watch a lot of aliens together. Um, they lost the futuristic sauce in between movies. Right. Bro. That's another I thing like that got, I feel it got was very weak. Americanized. And it was just, just like militarized. Military, yeah, yeah, militarized. I'm like, eh. I'm like, it didn't feel. It it, it felt sci-fi, but not like twenty one thousand seven hundred. No. Like, yeah. It didn't feel like that. It felt like if we were to go, go in space. With yeah. some military people yeah. right now, like or like oh like a hundred year time jump from now. Maybe. That's what it felt like. Yeah, but it still. I mean, it still kept the. There I was one. There was one part. I forget what it was, but I looked to you and I was like, "This, this." Oh, looks it was that. It was that area when Newt and Ripley are in the um, oh. same area, and they get they get the face huggers yes. trying to attack them. Yes, yes. And bro, Burke is such a fucking spit fuck in this. Bro, fucking, <laughs> in this I was I was literally. Two seconds. He was out. rocking with Burke. I was two seconds out from telling this guy, "Oh yeah, I kind of fuck with Burke." And then he does like the snakiest shit of all time, dude. And just turns off that that cam. Yeah, I'm like, like just casually. <laughs> I'm just like, dude, this fucking guy. And then he tries to leave them, and then it's yeah. just so satisfying. He like he's trying to leave them behind when everything is getting real, and he kind of like turns around, and the fucking Xenomorph just yeah. fucking gets him. Um, but I do, 
so we actually we we get this movie really showed us a lot of stuff because you get Newt and then you know what do you think about Newt? Newt was cool. They had to you know they had to protect Newt because she was honestly the only survivor. Well, no. What do you mean? She I mean, well, Ripley. Ripley oh, of course, the like, only oh, survivor like, of the community. Like when they got there, yeah, yeah. yeah. So she was de- she was the only survivor. Right. So like they had to protect her uh-huh. and keep her safe. That's the, that was their job. So they did do that. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, she was the only survivor. I thought she was cool. Mm-hmm. You know. But no, I thought she was cool. I, yeah. I I don't have much to say on her. I I felt like. I felt like uh, the kid acting didn't really mess with anything at all, so. You know, W to aliens there. I didn't yeah. find the kid annoying. And I think that's just, like, the main question people ask when there is a kid character introduced uh-huh. in something like this. It's like, okay, do we care about the kid character? Yeah. Um, I don't know if we see Newt again. I wonder if we see Newt again. Yeah, I don't know. But um, one thing, I so, like I was saying, we do get a bunch of different looks at, like, you know, it's like because whenever because at first in the first in the first alien you get to see like the ship and it's all very weird like mm-hmm. it's like a biomechanical ship that they're on and you got like a bunch of got the eggs so in this one we kind of see like and the xenomorphs do look different from the first one they do look a little it, different. It, they do look they look different but i don't expect them to keep the same design and this is a new new director too yep it's james cameron yep uh so and i guess i guess the cast wasn't really wasn't really into Cameron for really? the for the job. Um you ever he noticed? played he played Terminator yeah. before like before release for them. Yeah, and it's it's crazy to see how like he has that same type of taste. Like very weaponized military type of taste. And it's like, okay, that's cool. Um But that's but not what this franchise how it started how it should have been why like why did alien feel way more sci-fi and you know futuristic than aliens when it's a 57 year time jump it's it's because of james cameron yeah it's just his and it's just his his vision his style it was cool um and and it's still a great movie like i still think it's a great movie but so besides that that's just a small thing i think it was solid i can't wait until we do the aliens tier list yeah um because i think i'm gonna Probably piss some people off um, yeah. with how I talk That's about life. this movie. But the end is really solid, and the disgustingness factor is, is dialed up even yeah. more, oh I feel my like. Gosh. So when we finally we see some the queen. Nasty we see, we see the shit, queen. bro. We yeah, see we the see queen. the queen that lays the eggs. Oh, gosh. And when – so Newt, Newt gets taken. So that's, what, that's the one thing I was kind of confused about. So when they're chasing all the characters – they're killing, their, and they're not really like, I guess. Okay, they didn't really explain this. So yeah. when there were some parts where they were like, oh, they were getting attacked, but they, I felt like they were actually killing the soldiers. Killing them, yeah. But whenever the xenomorphs took Newt, she was like, they don't kill, they don't kill them immediately, or she's like, they don't kill them. Uh huh. And then, and then, and then it's like, but we didn't we just see them kill like two people? Right. Well, maybe. Cause maybe or maybe, maybe we did it. And maybe Newt, they maybe they they just kind of like took them, disappeared with them. Maybe, or maybe because like Newt wasn't shooting at them, so they're like, okay, Newt this, wasn't shooting at them. Yeah, like all the soldiers were shooting at them, so they're like, oh, this is a threat. I need to take them down immediately. But Newt isn't oh, shooting wait, them, okay, so I get what you're saying. maybe I need to take her to the nest and um, make her a, a new. Alien. So no, maybe they don't kill. Maybe they harvest. Maybe they. Maybe what we saw was wrong. Maybe. Yeah. Um, cause I feel like maybe they didn't really kill. Maybe they were like, they captured them. I felt like they killed them. So, um, so when they grab people, they take them to, and they put them in the fucking, the little slime goop Uh and then they have them near the eggs. So whenever the face huggers get fucking real, they'll have like a host to birth another xenomorph. Yeah. So they don't necessarily kill immediately. Yeah. But I feel like in alien, we saw them, they, they were, the xenomorph was definitely killing. They might but have just not thought of that. May, maybe, but I don't know. Maybe somebody can explain to the, explain that a little more in the comments. They added that in. Yeah, may, maybe. But um, that's one thing where I was having a problem, like struggle understanding. Yeah. Um, but the queen was crazy. I think it, it was kind of another kind of like the ending. Um, 
was kind of another one of those like oh trap door things and i'm like okay i didn't really i wasn't really ecstatic about that but i do think it was cool seeing like a bigger threat like the actual like queen thing because yeah, at the time they're like okay we got to make the a bigger boss xenomorph right like it's gonna be the queen and then they're, they're, it's gonna be like a exaggerated version basically kind of like the same ending of the first one but like a more on a bigger scale yeah um which was cool which was really cool ripley gets it. in the machine the yeah the i don't even know the mech suit. yeah the mech suit and it was kind of foreshadowing it when she first gets in and she's like anything i can do yeah and then she, she's like can, and then uh, she's like i can drive one of these she gets in the mech and it was i was like, like i was like she's fighting somebody yeah with that. yeah yeah <laughs> it's, it's it's it was it was very it was pretty predictable I, yeah. i'll say it but it was cool. I think I do still like Alien a lot better than this one. Me too. Um, the character of Ripley, she gets to be a little bit more badass in this yeah. one. And gets to kind of yell at some people and tell them that they're stupid, which is fun. Yeah. Um, because we're like, oh, as the audience, we're like, yeah, you need to fucking listen to Ripley. So I think that all works. What are you uh, doing, you fuck? Listen to Ripley! <laughs> like, come on! Um, but yeah, let's get into this freaking box office and trivia, my boy. So... If you guys haven't watched the previous episode, last episode, I had up this inflation calculator so that we can see this budget in today's numbers as Mm -hmm. well. Yeah, Um, this is interesting. So, on a budget of $18 million, so $77 million, still not breaking $100 million. I'm waiting for one of these to break $100 million. Um, $18 million. They made 131 million, so made a lot more than the first. 566.8 million dollars in today's money, so yeah. more like 567 million. Yeah, crazy. Uh, and f- these are R-rated movies yeah. as well in yeah. 1979. So S- crazy wow. box office return for yeah. something like this. Um, Why they were able to make a third one? Yeah, right. Yeah, Why, yeah. So. And so the third one's the ra- the last one with uh, Ripley. I think so. Maybe not. I don't think it is. It might be Resurrection though. If if that's the last one with Ripley, I think they really fumbled. But we'll get into that. We'll get into that on the third one. Um, let's get into some of this trivia. So, while filming the scene with Newt in the duct, yeah, where she like falls down and slides down the duct. Yeah, I guess. Um, Carrie Hinn, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. That's the actress's name yeah. that, that played the kid. Um, she, like, kept messing up her take on purpose because she wanted to keep sliding down the slide. Oh, wow. It was, she That's said, hilarious. She said it was a three-story tall slide, basically, is what? What, it, what it was. Wow. Okay. So she just, like, blew her take so that she just kept going down the slide. <laughs> I thought that was that, – She's smart. Yeah. I Definitely thought that was smart funny. for that. Um, where the hell is Jay Blades, dude? Because this is a cool trivia fact. Mm-hmm. The alien nest set was kept intact after filming. It was later used as Axis chemicals for Batman 1989. Whoa. Wait, so... Where Joker falls in... Yeah. And ah, gets, okay. gets his acid. Wow. So it's Maybe it was the liquid. acid blood from the aliens. Oh, hey, oh, oh. Whoa. Same universe crossover. <laughs> but um, that's wild. That's pretty cool. So the Batman crew first entered the set and like so most you're recycling of the, props. Most of the alien stuff was just like still intact and wow. stuff. And so they had to like move it and all that. That's pretty stuff. cool. Yeah. Uh, I thought that I thought that was really awesome. Um The Queen. The Queen xenomorph or whatever um was fucking massive it was too big to fit into that elevator during that elevator scene i thought that was so goofy too we forgot to bring that up is (laughs) that the elevator or that the The queen is literally goes up the queen knows the the queen xenomorph knows what an elevator is and literally takes the elevator up to get (laughs) him like okay (laughs) whatever um so when when she's seen in there like when the door opens her tail was removed and the back of the elevator still had to be opened to accom- accommodate it. And it was a big prop. they had to put smoke effects and dark lighting and all that to, like, obscure the fact that it That's was That's pretty open. cool. Yeah. But, yeah. So it was a massive, massive puppet. Yeah. Um, 
And then last little bit of trivia. I guess there was a special edition for this movie. Don't think there was one for the first one. Um, but the special edition of this includes 17 minutes of extra scenes. Ripley oh. discussing her daughter with Burke. So I guess she has a daughter. Mm-hmm. Ripley is demoted by the board. Newt's parents discovering the abandoned alien ship. Oh, when that would have been cool. That would have been awesome. A tour through Saluka or Sao Sulaco prior to the Marines waking up. I don't know what that is. Um, oh, I think that's the ship they're on. Mm-hmm. So, like, how they did in the first yeah. one. Um, Hudson bragging, bragging about his weaponry. Ripley hesitates before entering the colony complex on the planet. Robot sentry guns repelling to alien raids. And Hicks and Ripley exchanging first names. <laughs> okay. Uh, but I think the big, big scene is Newt's parents, like, finding the yeah. aliens. Yeah. I think it would have been – I think I would have cared a lot more yeah. about Newt's if oh, I yeah. seen – how that shit went down. Same. How her parents died and Same how her parents. Batman. Her, like her watching her like parents get ripped to shreds. Yeah, her Batman origin story. Yeah. It would have been crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think this is like if this is going to be like two tiers below Alien. Yeah, I think I think the main thing I have I, I have a problem with this movie is that it kind of it. It it does feel like a new a new you know alien like a like a sequel. It does feel like a sequel. But it it feels more of like the first movie. I think James in some Cameron. in some touches of it. Mm. Um. Uh, but I do like the movie though. It I doesn't do make like me, it. It doesn't make me. I don't dislike it. I do like the movie. But I'm watching Alien yeah. again before I watch Aliens. Yeah. Aliens, aliens, aliens is good, but I don't. Th- I think alien. Maybe is just we're alien, hot takes. Alien, alien is just a perfect introductory movie. Yeah. Set in '79, and the, think about it. Um, you don't get it, you don't get another movie in like six, seven years. Really? And that's like I didn't know that. I want to. Well, because '79 to '86. Oh well, yeah, yeah. I thought you were talking about to Aliens three, but yeah, it's a big jump. Mm-hmm. So people really, so people probably were thinking like. Like, it, like it, oh shit, aliens! Like, yeah, well, well not even that. It's like I think people really liked it, but there's got to be someone out there who agrees with me that just feels like maybe it's it's kind of like it kind of ends the same kind of like a different version of the yeah. first film. I just I with think the, the, just the trap door thing. Like, there's not any other way to kill aliens. Obviously, you can shoot one and then it fucking dies. Yeah. But like the queen, we had to do the same thing with the queen. I guess it's just a big like a bigger boss. Level. If they do the same thing in Aliens Three. Mm-hmm. I will be kind of like, yeah, I'll be like, kinda, I'll be, I will, yeah, same. I'll be like, what the fuck? Yeah, we're, we're recycling here, v- big time. Yeah, big. Time. ASG, thank you so much for watching this ASG rewind of Aliens, nineteen eighty six. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. It really helps out the channel. Yes, sir. Um, but yeah, I guess that's it. Peace out, ASG. Mm-hmm.